apologies in advance. The background music is very loud. I am at my cousin's house. And you know, there's a lot of opening and closing doors. And my cousins are playing. So it's very loud. and viewers, I'm sorry if my background might be a little noisy, but today I just got a set of new figures I would like to review, and it is the Camp Adventure set with a repaint of Barbarionyx, a, re a repaint of a Stegosaurus, and with little baby Bumpy, the Ankylosaurus, and with Darius. But before we take a look at the toys, we'll take a look at the packaging. So here's the packaging. Just need to put through the Stegosaurus aside. Here we see the Stegosaurus tail whipping the Baryonyx. Now we have Camp Adventure set with it in, a different in a bunch of different other languages. You have, the, you have Benji, Brooklyn, and Darius with Toro in the background. No. Sorry, you can't have a seat. There you see the Baryonyx's play feature, which is its moving jaw. Camp okay, Adventure set again with in different languages. You know, chomping it. You know, you some other display of the play features and in different languages. Camp Adventure set on the top and just some um, random stuff. Like you should recycle this box. You know, and actually this is the background that came with the box that I'm using for this video. You know, you have Camp Cretaceous itself, you know, before before the dumb is wrapped it. Yeah. But first we'll take a look at Darius and Bumpy. So taking a look at Bumpy, you can move his his little club side to side, you know. And you know he has his little cartoony face and very cartoon accurate details. And that and there's and you know it since it's so little there's barely there's no individually sculpted scales on the entire figure, but you know it's so small and you can't really get a lot of things. Since it's so small, like it would, it would have been better if you could have like, it would, the toes would have black tipped claws. But you know, it's a neat little addition. You know, it, and at least most of it it's painted, and you know, you wouldn't even see the toes since this is what it will look like from above. And for Darius, you know, art articulation wise, you can move his. He has no shoulder joint, sorry, an elbow joint, and I think now you cannot move his hands. Same thing on the other side. You can move his head side to side, up a little bit and down a little bit. You know, knee joint, but you know, has a little articulation. But there's, and you know, you can move its feet. And in my opinion, it's not really accurate. You know, you, you know it did, does have the little pendant that Darius has, which his dad gave him. But I think his face is a little, it should be at least smaller since in the cartoon, his face is much smaller. But you know, it's, it's not really, cartoon accurate. Also, I think he would have been much smaller since Bumpy would have been at least this. He would have, because I remember Bumpy being at least big enough to to hit as big as um, Darius's lower leg all the way up to his elbow. I mean knee. Move that to a side. Sorry for my loud background. That's the, the washing machine and you know People opening and closing doors. And for Baryonyx, I'm pretty sure this is Grim. I'm pretty sure. Looks like Grim. 
And, and I think, no, I think Grim was the one in Fallen Kingdom, right? Right. You know, you know, large glass. Some glass inside. Sorry for my loud background again. A, a coating of glass to make it look much wet. Also, what's up with this, you know, for some... I... I have a complaint because, you know, the page starts to run onto the lip. I mean, the mouth. As you can see here, the paint thing starts to run on the lip of the figure. But just be you know, noticeable, you know, binocular vision. And, you know, the play feature, just push this button. But the jaw goes up and down. It would have been better to make it go down and up. You know, it would it would have been closed, and if you press this button, it would have opened, and then it would have closed again. I don't know why Mattel does that, but you know, it's better than no play feature. You know, and articulation-wise, you can just move his arms just like the others, because I did have the Baryonyx from Fallen Kingdom. From the Roar of Wars Wave 1, I think. You know, you can move his leg like that. Oh, you know, I'll just let it, I'll just see if my camera can focus. But you can scan this if you want. Okay, that's enough. No, very much does mean heavy claw, so there is a large claw. That would, would have been nice if the claws and toes would be tipped with black. You know, a white under neck. And, you know, just a green underbelly. With a few white specks. Also, what's this? I thought it would have made noise, but... This didn't, didn't have the, you know, usual screw hole right here. So, I'm not sure what that is. There's no... Let me know in the comments. And sorry for my loud background again. And for the stegosaurus, you know. It's like... I forgot. I'm pretty sure I saw the original one with this. That didn't have like this. Like... You know... Dark gray stripe design. You know, you have the tail. That, that, that if you... This one... You could tell this one because it's looser than the others. And here, for example, Grim. That's the play feature for the Stegosaurus. Articulation-wise, same thing. Same thing with the Baryonyx's legs. Now the same thing on the front two feet. And actually, you can move. You can. Barely, you can move its head up and down, but not side to side, though I, though I thought it wouldn't do that. You know, the coloration is basically like the original one, but with the large, with this, with the darker gray design. I'm, I'm sorry if I said stripe earlier, but it's a sort of design. For the underbelly, you know, it's a much lighter gray. And you know, I would, um, you know, you can scan this if you want. No, no, sorry, my camera can't focus. So I'm sorry, you have to buy this on your own if you want to scan that. Using the Jurassic World Facts app. I right down, it's free on the App Store, you know. And this is not sponsored by Mattel. But if Mattel did want to sponsor me, yeah, I would say yes, you know. And I guess that's basically the, the camp adventure set. I'm pretty sure this was like forty dollars. And you know it's pretty it's 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 not overpriced, I would say. You get what you it you get what your money you get your mon your money's worth. And you know, this is a pretty solid playset. I would recommend it for kids since there's barely... No, I would... 
since you can't choke on any of these. But be careful about Bumpy. I'm not sure if little kids might want to eat him or swallow him and choke on him, but still, uh, you know, keep that, you know, to the side and just bring up these two and let the kids play with them. So that's it. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.